Namaste. I'm Alakananda Ma, Ayurvedic doctor and principal of Alandi Ayurveda Gurukula and Ayurveda school in Boulder, Colorado. So we've recently been talking about the five pranas. And as a follow on to the topic of Apanavayu, let's take a look at ejaculation and prostate cancer. Well, if there's one area where yoga and Ayurveda are at loggerheads with Western medicine, it's the question of ejaculation. From a yogic, tantric, and Ayurvedic standpoint, a man's semen is something precious that should be conserved in order to build ojas and raise spiritual energy. On the other hand, you'll find a lot of urologists recommending frequent ejaculation, i.e., three times a week as a preventative for prostate cancer. How do we resolve this? Well, it's true that there is a large study, one study, linking frequent ejaculation, that's 21 times a month or more, to a lower risk of prostate cancer. The study was mainly looking at white men, white professional men. The study does not distinguish between sexual intercourse, masturbation, and nocturnal emissions or wet dreams. So the topic definitely needs more study because the type of semen emitted by masturbation isn't actually the same as that emitted during sex. And not everyone has the opportunity to have actual sexual intercourse three or more times a week. Secondly, don't get too scared because while there was an overall reduction in prostate cancer rates with the higher amounts of ejaculation, there was no difference in the rates of aggressive cancer, the kind that could kill you. Thirdly, these studies focus on younger age groups, younger men, middle-aged men. So if you're an older man, and you've been conserving your semen all these years, there's no point in trying to play catch up. The apparent benefit of frequent ejaculation accrues over decades. Well, one thing that stands out to me is that there simply aren't any studies on prostate cancer rates in men who practice yogic and tantric methods of conserving semen. So we don't have a way of knowing whether these practices in themselves benefit prostate health and counterbalance the perceived benefit of frequent ejaculation. One thing we can be sure of though, a man who's so deep into yoga or tantra that he's able to control ejaculation is most probably leading a very healthy lifestyle. So to continue your practice of celibacy or non-ejaculatory orgasm while protecting your prostate, follow these simple steps that are evidence-based. One, prevent cancer with an Ayurvedic diet with plenty of whole grains, legumes, fruits and vegetables, and of course, our cancer-fighting spices like turmeric. And we'll put a link in the description to my video on the cancer preventing diet. Two, don't smoke, don't smoke, don't smoke. Three, take fewer than two <coughs> alcoholic beverages a week. <coughs> That's fewer than two full drinks a week. Four, take regular exercise. And five, keep your stress low with your regular meditation practice. As the great Meha Baba said, don't worry, be happy. And as Ramana Maharshi said, happiness is your real nature. The happiness that comes from your practice, from your love and care for all beings is the best cancer preventative that we can possibly have. Thanks. See you next week.